do feel free to take one uh, because I might speak quite quickly at some point. I will try and help the interpreters by not going too fast. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is actually not part of my presentation, but Alexei made me think of it just now when he was talking about um, swear words. I've never studied swear words, although I'm an accomplished user of them. <laughs> um, but it did occur to me whilst he was talking that this, this, this video came to mind. Who in here has heard of Monty Python? Okay, a good number of you. Um, there was a member of Monty Python called Graham Chapman. He died uh, quite young in 1979. And we're going to watch a very short clip from his funeral service. Um, you've probably all heard the word fuck in films, in music, you've read it in books. Does, does anybody get shocked by hearing fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, fucking fuck? <laughs> I mean, naturally you won't because it's not your native language. If I said that to my grandmother, she would probably be a little surprised. <laughs> um, but bear in mind, what we're going to watch is from 1979. Yes, Graham Chapman, co-author of the Parrot Sketch, is no more. He has ceased to be. For the rest of life, he rests in peace. He's kicked the bucket, off the tree, hit the dust, snuffed it, breathed his last, and guard me the great head of light entertainment in the sky. And I guess that we're all thinking how sad it is that a man of such talent, of such capability for kindness, of such unusual intelligence, should now so suddenly be spirited away at the age of only 48 before he achieved many of the things of which he was capable and before he had enough fun. Well, I feel that I should say not good riddance to him, the freeloading bastard I have. <laughs> and the reason I feel I should say this Never forgive me if I didn't, if I throw, throw away this glorious opportunity to shock you all on his behalf. <laughs> Anything for him but mindless good taste. I could hear him whispering in my ear last night as I was writing this, all right please, he was saying, you're very proud of being the very first person ever to say shit on British television. <laughs> if this service is really just for starters, I want you to become the first person ever at the British Memorial Service to say, fuck. Uh, I apologise for the quality of the sound, it was terrible, but the last point there was the, the main point he said, um, that he had been the first person on British television to say the word shit and now he would be the first person at a British memorial service to say the word fuck. Now bear in mind this is in a church in 1979. That was very, very brave. That was not normal behaviour at all. That uh, probably would have been censored. We've only seen it because of the internet. When you were saying that things change with time, you know, uh, different age groups, etc. might use different things. It just occurred to me that perhaps the Russian usage of swearing is a few decades behind the English usage of swearing in its general acceptance. Whether that's a good or a bad thing is for you to decide. So, uh, in a second we shall start the presentation. So the first screen is parental advisory. I have to advise you a couple of things about this presentation. First of all, uh, if you are not a true word nerd, if you're not a dedicated translator who loves playing with words, you will find some of this quite slow and boring. I'm sorry, but that's what we're here for. 
the second thing is there will be some swear words. And I believe that the Russian uh, legal body these days requires that uh, you are advised of that. If you feel offended at bad language, you can go and have a coffee or something. 